Okay, so um, those are the two top stories on the Oddly Studio site this week, uh, but there are a few other things as well if you'd like to check out. Um, I'm putting up a video from the uh, um, developers group that I went to this week, which was actually two groups combined into one. Uh, the Android developer group of Toronto met up with the uh, mobile developer and design group, which has kind of been primarily based on uh, iPhone development for the first time ever. And I have video of that that's going up on our YouTube channel. Um, very interesting. Uh, I think everyone was, um, you know, very enthusiastic to hear a little bit about Android, which is an emerging platform as opposed to iPhone, which has been pretty dominant up to now and looks to continue being dominant, but uh, it's always nice to get in on the ground floor of a new platform, right? Uh, aside from that, there's a couple more um, things up on the uh, news portion of the, Oddly, of the Oddly site. A couple of new projects that we launched, including the uh, Cadillac Fairview body type selection tool that we created for sweetspot.ca, which is a very popular portal for women. And uh, actually we're finalists in the CNMA awards this year. So we're very happy to be working along with them. Uh, we have the BMO investor line game, um, which is a pretty involved project um, branched across uh, ad units to Facebook application, to a desktop application wrapped inside of the Air runtime. Um, so if you want to play the game, uh, check out video of that in action and uh, see a few notes from the um, strategy end of the, the campaign, feel free to uh, jump onto our site and click through to that. And aside from that, uh, coming this week, you're going to have Lamb and Martin back in the shop. Uh, which I'm very, very enthused about because Lamin is a particularly gifted illustrator. Um, we previously had him down for the uh, Oddly Studios in-house artist program. This is a program where we actually ask an artist to come into the shop and uh, work with us for a week. And while they're there, we get this nice creative boost from them and seeing what they do. And at the same time, we give a few tips about how to promote themselves online and how to market themselves in the interactive space. And everybody wins. It's a great program. And we've made a lot of friends um, through that program. And Lehman is the creator of um, such excellent illustrations as this. This is from his fourth book called Semblance, which is actually a, a book of illustrations of these elaborate mythical creatures. And Lemon just has a fantastic, fantastic imagination uh, matched with a very unique illustration style that I find really exciting um, to be working alongside. So hopefully I can get a little bit of video of Lemon actually uh, in action and we'll put it up on the site and you can um, check it out on Oddly Sunday next week. So um, yeah, definitely, definitely do tune in next week. And um, I think that's just about it for this week. I'm going to finish up my coffee, which is starting to get cold here. Uh, but if anyone has interesting events going on in Toronto to do with the interactive medium, uh, you want to shoot me a note, please feel free. You can find the contact details on the site, oddlystudios.com. And uh, if you want to have us out to cover your event or just to chat or to talk about an upcoming project that you might find uh, uh, appropriate for Oddly Studios to work on, then please do feel free to drop me a note, um, look me up on Twitter, it's at Oddly Studios, and uh, being pretty active on there as well. And that's it for this week. Thank you for tuning in to Oddly Sunday, and we'll see you again next week.